Two weeks after a water main break in St. Louis Park, people who live in that same area are finding themselves dealing with another one. WCCO's Adam Duxter shows us what happened this time and how the city and residents are responding. And you run the fans pretty much. Demi Lalos and his family thought they'd found their forever home. But five weeks after moving in, they're now dealing with the disaster for a second time. At this point, I don't even know really how to express the level of frustration. On May 21st, Lalos and his family woke up to find their basement flooded. One of more than 50 homes doused with over 1 million gallons of water from a main break nearby. Tens of thousands of dollars in countless destroyed belongings later. They thought they'd finally finished cleanup until it happened again late Friday. At about 1130, I heard the sound of water. It's almost there's, there's, <laughs> there's nothing to say to them almost. It's just a, a feeling of frustration and that's really all we can express. The city says they're still not sure how the first break happened, let alone the second one. <laughs> And as crews once again scrape the sewage and work to dry Lalo's now concrete basement floors, he says he's now out more than 100 grand, which the city and insurance won't cover in full. It's shocking to think that this is happening again. Neighbors on this stretch say they're not convinced this won't happen a third time. When I ask them, they're like, oh, we're so sorry this happened. It's like, I need more than I'm so sorry. I need action. I need a plan. I need them to make sure that this is a lot. They find a long term solution. The city has two meetings scheduled to discuss concerns about exactly what happened here. The first, a city council meeting Monday at 630. The second, a special neighborhood meeting Wednesday at 6, where the city says elected officials and other city staff will try and explain to homeowners exactly how this happened not once, but twice. In St. Louis Park, Adam Duxter, WCCO 4 News. I'm sure those homeowners will be at that meeting. St. Louis Park officials declined to talk on camera, but say an evaluation of both water main breaks is planned.